Good morning and welcome back to I254 in the morning. My name is Faith Nsole. It's Wednesday and if it's Wednesday, it's WCW. On this segment, we celebrate the strength of a woman. You can engage us on all our, our social media platforms at Y254 channel. Engage me at Faith Nsole. And so marriage requires a lot of hard work and resilience. And the, the hard work that you just have to put in for a marriage to work it's not just but a walk in the park you require the resilience and prayer just being a prayerful woman and knowing that marriage is not just built on love alone but god too and so today in studio we have a a, a strong woman a beautiful woman who is here to talk about marriage and child loss. Mm -hmm. Her name is Julia Wamboy. Welcome to the studios this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much and thank you for hosting me. All right. It's yes. a pleasure having you. Yes. So tell us who is Julia Wamboy or mm -hmm. More? Uh -huh. um, a mother mm -hmm. and I have three beautiful children, one mm -hmm. passed on. Mm -hmm. And I'm married to a pastor, mm -hmm. uh, George Omore Kabasele. Mm -hmm and we are under Kenya Assemblies of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a presenter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have EBN TV. We, uh, I also encourage couples in Penzi Halisi. Mm -hmm. We have it on YouTube also. Mm -hmm. And I also have a group called Precious Women. Mm -hmm. And it's a group for mothers who have lost their children. I went through that. so. I, I love encouraging women and also going through the work with them and counseling them also. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, how did, okay, how did you two meet? How did you meet your husband? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. You know, we used to date before mm -hmm. and and I left to, to go to Dubai mm -hmm. and he was here mm -hmm. and we started again communicating. So when I came back, you know, we were friends. Actually, mm -hmm. I always tell people it's always good to marry your friend because he was actually my good friend. Mm -hmm. And we used to do uh, like going for fellowship together and such things. But when I came back now, it's the time now we, we got like uh, serious, we got engaged mm -hmm. and we got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been married for 17 years. Wow. And him being Aluo and I, Kikuyu, mm -hmm. we really thank God for, for that. Exactly. <laughs> because now, you know, like uh, so many people like during, you know, like election, people like, you know, like going against, like we see, you know, like we become so tribal mm -hmm. and it's about a person, mm -hmm. you know, like we, we don't usually do that. We we have different cultures yes. and we embrace our culture because God created culture with, with the purpose. Yeah. And I really thank God because, you know, like laws are different. We are so different. Mm -hmm. And we, we really like even bringing up our children, mm -hmm. like they know they are Kenyans. They're mm -hmm. not this, they're not this. And, you know, even when they grow up, they will truly know. Mm -hmm. And even as uh, election is, is, is near, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really urging that people like we don't go to, you know, like we don't we, we don't go through like the tribal thing. Yeah. We, we should look a person like a person, not like, you know, like being tribal like yeah, you. Because, because, someone, yeah. because yeah. someone will say mm -hmm. that a marriage between a Kikuyu and Luo yeah. can't just work. Yeah. But no, 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 no. no. But, you know, it's about, that's why I'm saying it's mm -hmm. about people. And and people, there are those who don't work. Mm -hmm. And our, our, our marriage is basically on, you know, like mm. God's foundation. In a mm. Yeah, it's basically on God's uh, uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. It's all about God. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you put God first, everything will, it's marriage, we have conflicts, we have so many challenges that we go through. Mm -hmm. But when our focus is based on, on God mm -hmm. and our foundation is based on God, mm -hmm. then it will become easier because we shall be able to sit down mm -hmm. and deal with what we are going through. Mm -hmm. And when we have conflicts, again, I told you I, I got married to a friend. We'll sit down and discuss. Mm -hmm. And maybe if that is not the right time, we mm -hmm. shall get the right time to discuss about it. Okay. Yes. So yes. how did you two meet? 
Ah, uh, we met. You know, he used to live. I used to live in Buruburu. He used to live in Karibangi. So, so we used to meet. Like, I used to have a friend mm -hmm. uh, in school when I was in Form Four. So I used to. He's actually the neighbor. We mm -hmm. used to go to school together. So every time we, I went to pick her, we go to school together. He was there, mm -hmm. and you know that time he was. He had this dreads. He used to look so funny, mm -hmm. and I couldn't want to even to come near him because he was actually so he was looking so strange at that <laughs> time mm -hmm. so and you know actually before i got saved i was not uh, i was not a good person so mm -hmm. uh, and again he used to, we also used to have those you know like we are different mm -hmm. but i i got i mean I, I grew up in a in a pastor's house so mm -hmm. it was our foundation was also different i was just naughty and you, rebellious you <laughs> Daughter, but yeah, you are naughty. <laughs> I was so naughty, so rebellious, doing drinking, smoking. Mm -hmm. But I thank God because I really met I really met Christ mm -hmm. through the way and mm -hmm. I really thank God for that because it was a journey I usually look back and say, I think I could have I could have been dead, honestly. Mm -hmm. But because of his grace and mercies, I thank God for it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we met actually because So you met him when he was a pastor already? No, he was not. We were youth. Uh -huh. At that time, we were youth. Uh -huh. And I, I didn't want to get married to a pastor, actually. Uh -huh. So, but that time, we were going to different churches. I was going to uh, Jubilee, JCC. Uh -huh. Now it's in, in, in Parklands, but before it used to be in Tintin. Uh -huh. So, and he was in different, he was in Redeemed Gospel Church. Uh -huh. So, we were actually different youth growing out differently. Uh -huh. So, and when we met, we were, we had a one fellowship, a common fellowship in, in their area. Uh -huh. So, that and also in my area mm -hmm. so that's how we met wow. yes yes so okay you were this naughty child mm -hmm. how did you turn and to a point where now you decided you wanted to get saved <laughs> <laughs> it was um my more of my parents also praying for me mm -hmm. and also you know we had like this family fellowship mm -hmm. my dad made sure that we had a family fellowship like we really had whether you're drunk or not you mm. had to to have your day for leading and praying and i remember one time i was drunk like i'm told to read a verse i mm -hmm. pray i'm like god can you even hear these prayers mm -hmm. and i started uh, just coming back to my senses like I'm drinking w what is it you know what like life I have you? to sit you know like at times you have to have a meeting with yourself and mm. you tell yourself you know what it's not even worth Julia what you're doing drinking it's you're just wasting your time mm -hmm. and and I couldn't have peace all the time fighting with parents you're out you are coming the following day mm. we didn't even have peace mm -hmm. so and I decided to change you know like I just told God you know what and you know God is so merciful and so loving so mm -hmm. I decided just to give my life to Christ wow. because he is so loving and you know when he forgives he forgives it's mm -hmm. not like human beings mm -hmm. when God forgives he's so merciful he forgives exactly. yes so moving on you mm -hmm. went through child loss yeah. in your marriage mm -hmm. tell us how was it wow you know one thing I usually tell couples mm -hmm. that getting you know having a child mm -hmm. it's a miracle by itself carrying a child to term is mm -hmm. also a miracle by itself mm -hmm. you know at times we take life for granted so many times mm -hmm. but when 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 i lost my child mm -hmm. uh it was uh two two or eight mm -hmm. and it was it's such a painful experience you go through. Mm -hmm. But you know, people think because you know it's a child, you know, you'll just get another one exactly. and it's so easy. And when, you know, yeah, and when you like, get another one, it replaces yes, the other one. And you can never, you, I usually tell people you can never replace. We had named our child, he was called Pendo Sulo. He was a boy. I have mm -hmm. two girls, he was a boy. Mm -hmm. And you can never do that you can, because that was your child. And you know, the trauma you go through. Mm -hmm. 
and the stress you go through it's man we you really need god mm -hmm. because it's so so painful you mm -hmm. cannot even you know explain the pain you go through like mm -hmm. a mother because you know you had plans mm -hmm. you went shopping you had you know like you prepared uh, a bed for your child you know they say psychologically yes. you're so <laughs> you prepare you everything the clothes he, and everything can you imagine yes. and then now it's a boy you know i had a girl so i was waiting for a boy. so i was so excited you know mm. then all of a sudden we i i, I give birth mm -hmm. the child has complication mm -hmm. the heart was so big he, mm -hmm. i was told he had a heart expansion he was taken to icu it was so quick mm -hmm. and then you know that time i have cs mm -hmm. man it was, and then it's july it's so cold mm -hmm. you know like that time i usually tell people it's it's god because you can easily lose it you know like True. depression is so real that if you don't if you don't take care of yourself mm -hmm. it can really affect you mm -hmm. because you know I, I had another child i had my husband there and you know he was also going through that and you know many people think that men don't mourn and men yeah. also mourn yeah. differently they mourn mm -hmm. and you know now like when even people come to 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 comfort mm -hmm. And, and to mourn with you, they, they usually console the mother the so mother. much. <laughs> and they leave the husband, mm. and the husband is also mourning. Mm -hmm. So again, I usually tell people it's honestly a miracle. To give birth, mm -hmm. it's a miracle. And we should be grateful. We should not take that for granted. True. Because children are, are a gift, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And if, if a child dies, mm -hmm it's okay but again you have to move you know mm -hmm. i was i did that because i did counseling because of that also because i really needed somebody to talk to and at that time when i was going through that i was so lonely you know at times you're so angry you know like uh, you're angry with the doctors you're angry with also yourself imagining maybe if you had more money you could have taken you know you could have gone to another better hospital mm -hmm. and you have so many things you start even bargaining you know mm -hmm. so there are sta stages of grief and mm -hmm. if you don't if you overcome them mm -hmm. you'll be you'll you'll set yourself free True. and you'll be able to move on and i thank god because i managed to move on with with counselors who worked with me through and i had to go through therapy just to heal mm -hmm. because it, it was such a traumatizing moment for mm -hmm. me also mm -hmm. so and that's why i formed the group pressures women for other women who go through that mm -hmm. because at times you know people People take that lightly that you'll get another child, that you will replace that child so quickly, and it can never happen. That child was had you know you had a connection with the child you're the one who carried the child for nine months mm -hmm. so you had that connection with the baby mm -hmm. so at times it's it's not wise of uh, telling people that that you'll get another one it's okay they'll get yeah. but don't compare them with the one they've lost True. because that journey is totally so different mm -hmm. yes so that's why i formed the group and uh it's called precious women mm -hmm. and i usually work with with the women through like you know we under I understand what they are going through mm -hmm. and I can be able also to talk to them and encourage them and counsel them mm -hmm. we walk through the journey together until maybe they they come again to to get another child wow yes and so getting another child mm -hmm. after losing a child mm -hmm. how does it feel do you have that fear oh, yes. that this oh, one will yes. also die I yes. remember uh -huh. I remember when when I went to the I was not feeling well and you know I had just purpose that I will not get another child mm -hmm. so when I went to to the doctor and you know I had this test and I was told I was pregnant I actually screamed mm -hmm. like I was crying and the doctors didn't even know what was happening mm -hmm. because I was so emotional and I remembered what I went through mm -hmm. the trauma I went through mm -hmm. again this I'm pregnant again I didn't even know whether I'll, I'll even make it it's a type you know it's it's a time that I was so scared. I, I really didn't even know what to do. Mm -hmm. But I thank God because of of, uh, of people who were there, my sisters, my mother-in-law, my mother also, mm -hmm. they stood with me in prayers because it was not easy. Because I had this, you know, like everything going on in my mind, you know, I lost this child. Again, I'm pregnant. Mm. What will happen with mm. this other child? Mm. And it was it was not easy. Mm. But that's why I, I the group I formed, 
involved. It's mm -hmm. because I knew what I was going through mm -hmm. and now I can be able to work with other women mm -hmm. at least to tell them it will be okay. I went through that. Mm -hmm. I was so scared also when I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And you know at times we, we you know like when when you are when you are mourning I usually tell people it's okay to mourn but don't stay there for long. Mm. It's it's okay to to grieve. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be lonely. That's but you a, have to move yes, on. Yes, and you have to move but you have to move on. Mm -hmm. That you have to take an another step mm. but if you stay there for long it will also affect you it, you know you need that self-care mm -hmm. within even yourself true yes so let's talk about marriage mm -hmm. and you said you're married to Aluo uh -huh. and <laughs> I want to know mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. how do you people handle finance in your mm -hmm. marriage because mm -hmm. ile wanasemanga oh, kwamba yes. mjaluo ni ku spend <laughs> <laughs> and you know we kikuyus we save we save a lot yes. actually mm -hmm. uh what i usually do mm -hmm. what we usually do is you know like clothes they love spending so much mm -hmm. and you know they can go overboard yes but we sit down and mm -hmm. then we, we we come together with what we have mm -hmm. with our money we come together and so we say you know like a budget mm -hmm. you know he never my husband never knew to do that mm -hmm. like um budgeting and 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 doing that he never used to do that mm -hmm. so like we, we I, I started doing that you know like a home the bible says a woman is the one who builds her home True. so i started talking to her like let us do this together if we have a project let us do this together mm -hmm. and then when we have something else then we can spend mm -hmm. but at least we, we bring our money together you know many couples are not willing to share they are not yes. willing to be open yes because yes. I, I was just getting there to yeah. ask you what is your perception on pesa ya mwanamke ni ya mwanamke na ya mume ni ya ni yetu <laughs> you know the these you know like my husband mm -hmm. he usually gives me like you know like he, he has he tells me you know there I I work this money I get mm -hmm. that is mine mm -hmm. so but he also gives me mm -hmm. and the good thing is that we sit down and share mm -hmm. like we, we don't have at this is your money this is when he is budgeting he will he will come and you know we write down mm -hmm. this is what we do the house rent the school fees the what we sit down and do so when we have extra he mm -hmm. tells me this is the extra we are having so what can we do about it mm -hmm. so it becomes even easy mm -hmm. when you sit to, together and you're open mm -hmm. you know when you're not open that is when now people are becoming even unfaithful and doing things yeah, yeah. behind people's back yeah. but you know when you sit and I tell you the foundation is Christ you just sit down you say and when you don't have money and that's what I, I usually tell couples because at times you tend to tell your husband to do something for you mm -hmm. and you, yet you don't even know the amount your husband is getting True. and he end up being so stressed mm -hmm. and and even being so depressed because he mm -hmm. he doesn't even um, he doesn't uh, he you don't even know has a wife how much your husband is mm -hmm. is is uh, earning. Is, is earning. Yes. and he, you end up even lying to each other living uh, lives that you're not even comfortable with because you want even to please people outside and yet you're even struggling so at times it's always good to be honest mm -hmm. just share the amount you're having mm -hmm. just share with your husband what you're getting mm -hmm. so that you can be able to manage your home well true yeah so we are nearing elections mm -hmm. and uh, you find that there are people affiliated to different parties, different mm -hmm. politicians. Mm -hmm. So while when you, they are married to laws, mm -hmm. they already started fringing like how will it be? Mm -hmm. Suppose there is post-election violence, mm -hmm. what will happen to our marriage? Mm -hmm. What can you tell them? Um, as I started saying, because our marriage is based on God, mm -hmm. Parties are they come and go, mm -hmm. and and that's why people so much are are getting based on on the tribal and political, you know, like parties. Mm -hmm. And if we really based, you know, like if 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 or maybe I'm a Kikuyu and I want to uh to elect someone mm -hmm. i will not look basically so much on the tribal basis mm -hmm. i'll see what the person is bringing but i think we have this perspective that we are so tribal that we want to elect our person even when the person is not doing what he's supposed to do so i think tribalism mm -hmm. we should it's us 
who should deal with it first yes. so that we can change the nation. Mm -hmm. If I start like now, I'm a Kikuyu mm -hmm. and he's a Luo. Many people even don't know, you know, like I'm Julio More, so people mm -hmm. will just assume I'm a Luo. Mm -hmm. They don't know. So when I tell them I'm Kikuyu, oh, so you are Kikuyu, like, mm -hmm. you know. So at times, the tribal thing has really caught up mm -hmm. with everyone mm -hmm. that we are so tribal and it's mm -hmm. also even getting into churches mm -hmm. that we also want to elect someone who is a kikuyu a masai or whatever you know True. and it's, it's not even working mm -hmm. but when we base our when we base our um, our our what, what do we call when we base everything to to even god and ask for wisdom mm -hmm. we, sh we, sh we shall be able to overcome the tribalism mm -hmm. because it's really affecting everyone mm -hmm. it's even in children you yeah know. speaking of tribalism yes. in children mm -hmm. do you think that it's taught in our homes or it is something that it's learned over time oh yes it is taught in our home mm -hmm. like you know like we had my my children like in school you know like we ha we we have different names for them mm -hmm. our firstborn is sifa nyalawi mm -hmm. and our other daughter is Howie uzima mm -hmm. like people wonder you you know which, which tribe, tribe are you, are you? yeah <laughs> and they say they are kenyans yeah. and you know we actually had a problem because teachers came and you know they were telling us no they have to have a tribe but mm -hmm. we told them they are kenyans mm -hmm. they are really kenyans mm -hmm. and which we have to do that we are kenyans no matter what and you know the love mm -hmm. that christ has, has really build you know the love love is so important mm -hmm. and you know when we love each other you shall not when i love my neighbor mm -hmm. i will not uh, see the neighbor has another tribe. I will just love them. And that is now the way we are bringing our children, mm -hmm. just to know they are Kenyans and they are blessed to be in Kenya. They are either Luos, they are neither Kikuyus, but they are happy to be Kenyans. And if they want to learn the language, it's still okay. They mm -hmm. can learn Kiku, they can learn Swahili, they can learn English, they can learn Luo, which is okay. They will choose. Mm -hmm. And they are doing that, they are learning. So we don't have to force them at you, you know, you, you are, you, you are, you. no, no, mm -hmm. no, no. We are all Kenyans yeah. and we should be proud that we are Kenyans. True. And we really have a blessed nation. So we should really stand and we live tribalism because at this time, the way things are happening, people are against this, and we easily fight each other. Mm -hmm. And we've been living together. Imagine I waking up because mm -hmm. my neighbor is from another tribe. Mm -hmm. I come, I kill the person you can imagine the way we've lived together for long mm -hmm. that only when when uh, elections are near that is the time we start now knowing that people yes. are yes now a we start tribes. knowing that you are kikuyu you yeah, are luo you are so luya wrong. that is so wrong that is so wrong we should really love each other mm -hmm. and we should not fight if them they are fighting let us stay together mm -hmm. because we are all kenyans we mm -hmm. are our brother's keeper let us look out for each other and mm -hmm. let us love each other True. Yes. So there is somewhere you spoke of the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. So what is the role of prayer in mm -hmm. marriage? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. You know, we can never, oh, God, we really need prayers. Mm -hmm. In everything that we do, we need prayers. Mm -hmm. Because at times things are so hard, mm -hmm. and the only person you can run to is God mm -hmm. because he has the solution of everything. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, like people are just waking up and just deciding to kill each other. Yeah. And imagine if you're praying together as a family, God will even come through and mm -hmm. give you peace. Mm -hmm. And you know, prayers will really help a lot mm -hmm. because you will, you will have a peace that is so different. Even when you're struggling, even when you're going through the conflicts and challenges, mm -hmm. you'll be able to overcome mm -hmm. because prayer is the key to everything. At, you may pray today, mm -hmm. the prayers will help you another day. Mm -hmm. It will really come through for you. But you know, so many, people's, so many people are not are not committing God in their marriage. Mm -hmm. They are leaving God aside. Mm -hmm. And then when things are so bad, they start like now the last option, God, now come, come, come yes. and help us in our marriage. Yes. And it is not good mm -hmm. because we, we should, God has to be the center of our marriage. And if the foundation is Christ, mm -hmm. even when you're shaken, you'll be able to stand mm -hmm. because Christ is the center of your marriage. Mm -hmm. And prayers are so important mm -hmm. because when you don't pray, you will have like, you know, like hell in that house mm. because you will not be able to understand each other. Mm. You will really 
like <laughs> faced conflicts like mm -hmm. you know like you you really want to face you know like with your own strength yeah so like but when you have christ with you you'll even sit down and and start even like thinking now is it really worth mm -hmm. if i kill my partner is it really worth if i kill my children mm -hmm. is it really worth if if i walk out or but when you basically have god the center mm -hmm. and you get even time to pray god mm -hmm. will come through for you I usually say there's nothing which is too hard for the Lord. Mm -hmm. the, everything is possible with him. Even the things that we see so hard, mm -hmm. marriages can work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, marriages can work. And if you are even those people who are going through so much in their marriage, mm -hmm. I could add them to trust in the Lord mm -hmm. and to talk to someone. Just talk to someone. You know, at times we are we have so many things that we are holding and so many grudges, so many bitterness, and we don't want to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Please get someone that you can talk to. Just tell them what you are going through so that we can you can sit together and and get help. Mm -hmm. Because many times people are going through depression and it's really affecting people even in marriage true, true. and they're hiding so much mm -hmm. they're hiding the pain they're hiding the bitterness and they're hiding so you know the anger everything mm -hmm. so when it 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 just bursts you know like like a balloon you know when it bursts everything yes. now becomes you know haywire like they start now killing and doing so many things but when mm. you're talking to someone you'll be, you know like ladies so much they talk to people so even men i could add them get someone you can talk to mm -hmm. so that at least if there are situation which are there they can be so and pe and if somebody comes to talk to you please don't judge them mm -hmm. just listen to them mm -hmm. just be there for them mm -hmm. yeah because no you know no one is perfect so and no marriage is perfect mm -hmm. so it's just the two people i usually say two imperfect people coming together mm -hmm. so let us let the two imperfect people come together and solve their issues because wow. none is perfect wow. so yes. speaking of uh, trauma that is mm -hmm. built over time mm -hmm. you find that there is someone who has grown up mm -hmm. seeing the father beating the mother oh, yeah. or the mother beating mm -hmm. the father mm -hmm. like it's an, a childhood trauma mm -hmm. that he has never found a space to overcome it mm -hmm. so how can such a person just find victory over the childhood trauma mm -hmm. uh, we usually say in in counseling it's always good to go also to therapy mm -hmm. and and also God is there. Mm -hmm. But you know, in therapy, we shall be able to see mm -hmm. what happened in your past. Mm -hmm. Like we shall sit down and maybe if your, if your dad was abusive to the mom, mm -hmm. we, can, we can start handling that. And again, you know, like you, it's, it's you now, it's not them, it's their marriage. Mm -hmm. But first you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-care is very important. Mm -hmm. You first take care of yourself and know that you're so worthy and you're a very important person. Mm -hmm. So it's you first to begin the healing. You know, healing process starts with you mm -hmm. so that you can become a better person than your parents. Mm -hmm. That was their marriage. And again, now it's your, it's your life now you're starting, not them, it's your life. Mm -hmm. It was a painful experience, but we have to overcome that slowly by slowly. Yeah, but yes. now speaking of such mm -hmm. people who have mm -hmm. these childhood traumas mm -hmm. and just talking to people, mm -hmm. we got these kind of spouses who mm -hmm. are so self-centered mm -hmm. that everything is all about him, him or her yeah. it's mm -hmm. me and if it's not me it's me yeah. <laughs> how can one deal with uh, a self-centered spouse, spouse yeah hmm. you know like when when a spouse is so self-centered it started mm -hmm. from somewhere i usually believe that started from somewhere there's always a root you know like when you go through a root mm -hmm. there's somewhere that it came from mm -hmm. And at times people do willingly and at times people do unknowingly, like honestly they don't know. Mm -hmm. So at times it's good to be, you know, like to seek help, like mm -hmm. to sit with someone and especially if it's the wife, you know, like you said the man, if it's the wife mm -hmm. and the wife notices, mm -hmm. there's a time that he could sit down with the husband, mm -hmm. appropriate time, not when, when he's angry or no, just get a time that you can sit with the person mm -hmm. and try to talk to the person mm -hmm. and tell him politely and slowly that, you know, this is what you're doing mm -hmm. and I think I'm not happy. You know, there's a, a, a way that you can talk to uh to to your spouse mm -hmm. and you know like 
and I really don't like the way you're doing the, mm -hmm. the things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And again, seeking, you know, like when 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 someone start doing that, it it means he saw something. You know, like he saw parents also doing that. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a generation thing mm -hmm. at times, mm -hmm. and at times it's just a person, like just a person, so mm -hmm. that we can know the root. You know, like where is it coming from? And if he can agree, you know, men most men they don't, you know, the ego in them, they don't yes. like seeking help. Yes. So, but when they seek help, they will avoid so many things mm -hmm. they will be able to talk to someone they will be able even to go for prayers mm -hmm. like the way you said prayers mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. and god changes things there's nothing that god cannot change mm -hmm. and that's when you agree you know we need help mm -hmm. you can also do that prayers also change everything wow yes so we've seen uh, so many cases mm -hmm. where a spouse uh, wakes up one morning oh, yes. and decides and to kill the other mm -hmm. or rather kill himself kill mm -hmm. the kids yeah. without, without even notifying yeah. the partner of what's mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. in their marriage mm -hmm. do you think that depression is just so oh, real yes oh yes depression is so real and it's really affecting and even in 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 Kenya right now we we are we are in a bad state you know mm -hmm. but all things can be possible and that's why i'm saying please talk 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 to someone mm -hmm. you know like many people are hiding so many things mm -hmm. in, in in their heart mm -hmm. and they're not willing to share it out and we see that also men mm -hmm. like they are not talking they are not willing to go and share with someone. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk, it's also therapy. Mm -hmm. you, you get you get a relief in talking. Mm -hmm. Please share with someone. Mm -hmm. You know, like and you know, most of the people, you know, they think that depression is. Uh, it's just like any other disease, which can be dealt with, which can be cured. You know, mm -hmm. it's not that it's a life sentence. Mm -hmm. But now we we are judging those people so much, like mm -hmm. even in church, thinking that you know they are possessed or they are they are doing this. Mm -hmm. But when we handle them without judging them, it will be easier for us. Mm -hmm. So I could urge people, please don't judge. Like. If you go out there, please don't judge. Mm -hmm. Talk to that person. They need help. They need healing. Mm -hmm. You know, when when a man is going through that, when even a lady wakes mm -hmm. up, kill the spouse, or a man wakes up, kill the children, it's something that he's been going through. It's something that he's been hiding. Mm -hmm. And depression is so real. It's affecting everyone. Mm -hmm. Our families, it's affecting each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to to talk go find someone that you can talk to. Mm -hmm. Get someone that who can help you. There are counselors, there are psychologists that mm -hmm. out there. Please get a person that you can share with. Mm -hmm. And if somebody comes to you, please don't laugh at them. Don't judge them. Don't look down on them. Please let them, you know, go and even seek, you know, talk to someone also who can help them. Because we, we see that we are also the one who are, who, who, who are creating, like, you know, we, we, are, we, are, we are creating that a lot. Like somebody comes to you, he's depressed or she's mm -hmm. depressed. Instead of you helping the person, mm -hmm. you go running and telling everyone, judging them, looking mm -hmm. down on them. Mm -hmm. And we are not even helping. Mm -hmm. We are making even t the situation to be worse. Mm -hmm. So please listen and seek help. Wow. Yes. So fighting for your marriage, mm -hmm. uh, you're saying of going down on your knees mm -hmm. and just praying. Mm -hmm. And normally it's usually a woman who oh, is doing yes. <laughs> most of the time. Mm -hmm. You find that it, there are always women mm -hmm. who are going down on their knees and just mm -hmm. praying for this husband mm -hmm. that I change his ways. Mm -hmm. That, that this infidelity that is so much mm -hmm. rooted into him may mm -hmm. come out of him. Mm -hmm. And then you just fight and fight and fight and mm -hmm. you see that things are not just changing. Mm -hmm. In your perspective, do you think mm -hmm. that a woman can change a man? Hmm. A woman, no, I don't think a woman can change a man because, you know, it's a man who will be able to change himself. Mm -hmm. What a woman can do is to pray. As you said, mm -hmm. in Proverbs 14 verse 1, it says, A wise woman builds her own house, but a foolish one destroys it With by his hands. own hands. So again, it's us women who are wise. Mm -hmm. We shall go down to our knees and pray for them. Mm -hmm. We can talk to them. Mm -hmm. 
maybe to change, mm -hmm. but we cannot we cannot have that perspective of changing a man. Mm -hmm. It's him now to, to make the decision of change. Mm -hmm. We cannot change. It is so hard mm -hmm. because he has to be willing to change. Mm -hmm. Step number one. Mm -hmm. And us, our work is to pray, mm -hmm. to pray for them mm -hmm. and also to guide them. You know, like just talking to them politely. Mm -hmm. This is what you're doing. It is not right. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. The choice is always up to you. You can never be forced. Mm -hmm. And even God can never force you to change. It's you now, your decision, saying, I come to you, God. Mm -hmm. I am a sinner. Forgive me. It's always your decision. Mm -hmm. Somebody else cannot input that decision so it's always up to you to choose think i'm being unfaithful am i willing to change no am i willing to uh, uh not, not to change it's the decision is always yours mm -hmm. and you can because if even if we say we'll change for how long mm -hmm. and the person has the person is not willing to change mm -hmm. so the person has to be willing to change mm -hmm. and if the person is willing to change then that is easier we pray we guide each other we stand in prayers we you know, but him changing, I don't think it's, <laughs> it's oh. really hard. It's really so hard. Mm -hmm. Unless maybe those who listen, but for me, it's just maybe guiding and mm -hmm. praying. Because and at so, times you can tell him what he's doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. And if he's willing to change, then he can change. Mm -hmm. He can decide to change. Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't want to change, you cannot force a person. Mm -hmm. And you know they're not babies that you can move them around. You change, you go there. No. If a person wants to be unfaithful, whether you are there or not, he will just do it. Yeah. But when he's willing and he's saying, you know what, I choose not to do this, mm -hmm. then that's okay wow mm. so you have prayed mm -hmm. some people go to an extent yeah kujaribu even juju mm -hmm. you have done everything for mm -hmm. your marriage mm -hmm. and it is not just working at mm -hmm. what point do you reach and say mm -hmm. i'm done and i'm no longer fighting for this marriage at mm -hmm. what point do you reach and say walking out is the only solution left you know when you know like uh, physical physical abuse. Mm -hmm. That one is that one we, we usually tell even in church. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 a pastor, so that one we usually tell people let, just separate because mm -hmm. now if he's physically abusing you and beating you then that is not good mm -hmm. so that one at least you can separate so that he can also go get help and you can also seek psychological help because mm -hmm. it's also a trauma that's emotionally abuse you know like when a person is just beating you but other things which you think can be solved like being unfaithful like you can sit down mm -hmm. and if, uh, seek a counselor mm -hmm. or even uh, uh, the clergy the pastors mm -hmm. and if he's not willing to change then mm -hmm. you can decide we, we cannot decide for the couples it's them again to decide mm -hmm. but physically when somebody is coming and abusing you and doing all this and killing each other that is not has now had it you know we hate divorce but again we say because of somebody's um uh, like you know life, life is being important. A stick. yes yeah. you can like you know like stay aside mm -hmm. for separate for some time mm -hmm. and then maybe when the person change then you can get together if he doesn't you just move on wow yeah so marriage is not just all about mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. what are some of these skills that mm -hmm. one should equip him or herself mm -hmm. before getting into marriage to have mm -hmm. this perfect marriage mm -hmm. Okay, there's no perfect marriage. You know, when you say perfect, you, you're encouraging the youth to think <laughs> perfect, it's perfect in quotes. In quotes. <laughs> it's commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, like you just choose. It's mm -hmm. commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, at times, you know, like love, love is there, yes, but now you have to commit to each other. Mm -hmm. The vows now become real. In mm -hmm. time of health, in sickness, in what, in, now those vows start working, you know, because it's not all about like love it's now about commitment mm -hmm. i'm there as a wife you're mm -hmm. there as a husband mm -hmm. you're supposed to be there for your children commit you know taking care of this as the head and mm -hmm. the helper 
we take our part, mm -hmm. you know. Because when we say that the perfect, people will think, oh, let me run <laughs> to this thing that is so perfect. Yes. There are challenges there and there are conflicts. Yeah. We have to go through tests of life. And if, if, you're, if you're based, as I said, the foundation is not based on Christ, mm -hmm. you'll be able to, to drift, you know, just to run because now you're not, you, the foundation is not on Christ. Mm -hmm. But when you, you are, the foundation is in Christ, it will be easier for you to deal with challenges. It will be easier for you to deal with conflicts. It will be easier for you to deal with other things because now Christ is there. Mm -hmm. But when he's not there again, there are people who manage without God and they're doing well, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But again, the commitment, commit. I am a Christian, so my foundation is Christ. Mm -hmm. If your foundation is something else, based on that. If it's going to work, based on that. But to me, my foundation is Christ. Mm -hmm. He is, you know, he is the founder of my marriage. And mm -hmm. if Christ is not there, Honestly, it cannot work. Things are happening. So many things are happening. Challenges. You go today in work, it's not there. So what will you do? Mm -hmm. You know, so when you're based, your marriage is based on Christ, he will give you peace. He will give you comfort. Mm -hmm. Even when you're not seeing other things, we have the future. We have hope, you know. Yes. Wow. So you mm. were nominated for Zuri Awards. Yes. Talk about but, it, Yeah, please. the Zuri Awards. Uh, <laughs> it was a public uh, service nominee because of the Precious Women. Mm -hmm. And I was I was nominated. I, di I didn't win. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I thank God it was a great opening because of uh, the Precious Women group. Mm -hmm. And at least now I have, I have women that I go, I talk to. Mm -hmm. And I usually... Or visit them. I usually I used to go before in hospitals, but mm -hmm. because of COVID, mm -hmm. now um, um, we have a group on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. so we usually uh, talk through that. Wow. Yes. So I would wish that you look into that camera, mm -hmm. and then you just give your parting shot mm -hmm. uh, advice to someone who is struggling in mm -hmm. marriage, or mm -hmm. rather lost a child mm -hmm. some at some point in mm -hmm. his or her life. Wow. If you're there and, and if you've lost your child, I just want to tell you that God cares for you, and don't give up. And if you're out there and you've lost a child, I want to tell you don't give up. Uh, God is always there and seek help because at times you can be going through uh, the grief period and and you can even end up in depression. Please talk to someone who can help you and you will you will be okay. You'll be okay. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. And if you're there, you're also struggling in marriage. Let Christ be the founder of your marriage because when Christ is the founder of your marriage, you will go far. Don't ever give up in everything that you're doing. That is something that that I always say to myself that when you don't give up, you'll always have hope. And God cares for you. He has great plans for your life. So if if you're there and and you need someone to talk to, there are people who are there, there are counselors who are there, and they're willing to, to talk to you. So don't give up. Thank you so much. Wow. Mm. Uh, it's been a good conversation, wow. and we would wish to have you more mm -hmm. here so that you can keep talking because mm -hmm. people are struggling in marriage yeah. and it's just mm -hmm. not something that we go away tomorrow mm -hmm. or today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was a pleasure mm -hmm. having you and thank you for coming. Yeah. Wow, it's been a good conversation and I'm sure that you've learned one or two things. Mm -hmm. And now, have you ever lost direction when you're walking along the way in town or wherever? and you just feel like you need someone to talk to. And then you get to someone who gives you direction and just giving you so many landmarks mm -hmm. that you just feel so lost. Even it, it even worsens the situation. What am I trying to say? That in life, try to find some landmarks within yourself when you feel like you're losing direction, when you're going through difficult times. Because at times, people may just lead you out of the way so much that you find yourself so lost even before you realize where you were before. So find your landmarks in yourself, like just going to church, prayer, knowing your purpose on earth. Mm -hmm. At times it helps much than seeking people's opinion to mm -hmm. determine your next cause of action. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Kayesu is up next with Girlstock. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right.